I'm both amazed and honored to be called an eco-artist. Eco-art is when you take recycled materials like I do, like paper, magazines, wallpaper, puzzle pieces, beads, jewelry, etc. And what I do with them is, is what I do best. I create eco-art. Hi, my name is Grant Monnier, the eco-puzzle artist. Grant was very young when he started art. He was, we saw the, the magic appearing at the age of three, four years old. It was his outlet, he loved it. Because I have autism, I get anxieties. And working on my art, use working with paper, it helps soothe those anxieties. It's like a form of meditation. All my materials, I can find them, well, everywhere. People will even hand us some of their recyclable, recyclable materials that they don't want to use anymore, like magazines or puzzles. I like to use puzzles for my art. It's my signature mark. Peeling the prints off the puzzle one at a time so that it's nice and paper thin. Schools have puzzle drives for Grant. The very first piece was called The Sun God, and it was gorgeous. One day, a friend of mine asked if she could buy it, and Grant and I thought, oh, let's sell it for like, what, $100, $100. Well, I'm glad that conversation didn't go any further because we did sell that piece during Hurricane Harvey so that we could stay here in Houston and we sold it for $8,000 and I have sold Grant's art pieces in the thousands, $8,000, $6,000. I've currently raised over $250,000 for great causes with my art and all that money has gone back into hearing aids, wheelchairs, summer camps, school tuitions, and even to first responders. Whatever will help the community, we're going to help raise the money. The award I'm most proud of was actually the very first one that started it all. That was the Austin Rodeo Eco Art Grand Championship, and I was 15. After that, teachers took notice of some of the art I've made and asked if I could teach some of their students. I teach kids and even adults how to recycle and create eco art. And through this process, they are taking all recyclable materials and creating art so it lessens the, the landfills. He won the Texas Senate Award, Congress, where his art hung in the U.S. Capitol, the Mayor's Awards, volunteering all over the city of Houston. Now we're at a point where we branched out in the state of Texas. He enjoys it because he knows it's therapy, and he's going to teach a form of therapy that he knows a lot of our kids need. The art is definitely unique. There's a, a piece that he did recently. In fact, it's the latest piece. We just framed it up with the Mardi Gras piece. I, I'm just blown away. Our book was honored and recognized by the Barbara Bush Literacy Program. Grant the Jigsaw Giraffe, Different is More. We've sold over 14,000 books. It's about being different, and different is more. We're writing a series called Grant the Jigsaw Giraffe and Friends. We have books on epilepsy, disabilities, uh, intellectual disabilities, autism. They all have special talents. When I first started all this, it was just going to be a homeschool art project. But never in my wildest imagination I would have imagined it to come into this point. I'm both amazed and honored to be called an eco-artist. Every time I see a new piece for him, I say, you're just getting better and better. There's no doubt about it.